classic Sonic fan, you really want to know what Namco should do? They should make a Pac-Man World 4. I mean, really. We've... But the last game in the Pac-Man World series was Pac-Man World 3. And that was made all the way back in 2005 which was Pac-Man's 25th anniversary. And ever since then, we haven't seen another installment to the Pac-Man World series. You freaking fricks can complain all you want. Oh, the Pac-Man World series wasn't good. It was fantastic! I mean, it was a, a 3D platforming series for Pac-Man. And it was really good. It was really good, because back then it was hard to imagine Pac-Man in a 3D platformer, but then the Pac-Man World series came along, and guess what? It was freaking good as frick. Why don't we have a Pac-Man World 4 yet? I mean, people say Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures was like the Pac-Man World series. I mean, it was a 3D platformer, but it just wasn't like the Pac-Man World series. Because even though Pac-Man The Ghostly Adventures was an okay game, it just had many flaws. Because, I mean, just look at it. The game just repeats itself in many areas. It just feels like it repeats itself. Freaking, the story plot is just weak, and I mean the characters. The characters just lack charm in the video game. In the TV series, the mm, the characters have charm, but just not in the video game. I mean, what the frick? And they couldn't even hire the voice actors from the TV series. I mean, what the frick? And then. Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures, it just gets so repetitive. I mean, a dull hub world, it just feels lifeless, and it, it should have been more extensive. I mean, they should have put more effort into it, and you, you could tell the game was rushed. And then, and then, I mean, the levels themselves, I mean... I mean, we just have pointless, repetitive combat. Freaking just jumping from generic platform to generic platform. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it just felt repetitive. It, it just felt like it could have been better. I have to say, my favorite parts of the game was when you used the power-ups, because they actually felt... Difference. They actually felt distinguished from one another. They actually added variety. But my point is, the game wasn't all it could have been. And the ending. Holy frick. The ending! It was freaking disappointing as frick. The final boss was just pathetic. He is way too easy. I'd be on my first try. You know, I mean, what the frick? Why do you have to be that easy? And even worse, I mean, frickin', I mean, the ending was just frickin' disappointing. And this game is not as good as Pac-Man World 1. It's not as good as Pac-Man World 2. And it's not as good as Pac-Man World 3. I mean, seriously. I mean, this game was just rushed, and Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures rips off of lots of games. Pac-Man World, the Pac-Man World series, ripped off of many games, but Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures rips off even more. Because, let's see, it rips off of freaking Mario platforming, it rips off of Kirby power-ups, and Mario power-ups. Let's see, it freaking rips off a Sonic for the homing attack, I mean, and, I mean, seriously, this game just rips off, it just freaking rips off, and, I mean, 
mean, I just... I mean, Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures is better than I thought it would be, but from a glance, it's still just a lazy game. It's average at best. I'd probably give it maybe a 5 or 6 out of 10, but, I mean, why couldn't we get a Pac-Man World 2 style Pac-Man World 4 with the Pac-Man World character designs? The characters from the Pac-Man World series, no, not the frickin' Pac-Man World 3 characters where they modernized it all up. Even though Pac-Man World 3 wasn't a bad game, they just frickin' modernized some of the original Pac-Man World characters up too much. And, I mean, frickin', they just had all these frickin' ugly characters, but Pac-Man World 3... It was a freaking good as frick game. And I loved how they added puzzle puzzle elements and but it was as girls good as Pac-Man World 2. Pac-Man World 2 is my favorite Pac-Man game and one of the best mm, and one of mm, the best um well you see it's the best in the Pac-Man World series. I mean, we deserve a Pac-Man World 4. Because <sighs> just imagine with what mm, gaming consoles are capable of nowadays. They can make a freaking fantastic game. <sighs> I mean, seriously. I mean, Namco Bondi didn't take advantage. I mean, the, the graphics of Pac-Man The Ghostly Adventures were just nothing special. I mean, really, I mean, why can't we get a Pac-Man World 4? I mean, look at Pac-Man World 2. I mean, that game was not repetitive. It was full of platforming action. It was diverse, and it had lots of variety, lots of variety in the gameplay. And the game felt very rewarding. And the game just had so much to offer. And people complain about the camera on that game. But if you look past that, Pac-Man World 2 was a stellar platformer. I mean, Pac-Man World 2 may not, one of, may not be one of the best games of all time, but it's one of my favorite games of all time. I mean, really... We, we deserve a Pac-Man World 4. I mean, I can't believe in the freaking Facebook poll people voted for the Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures Pac-Man. They should have voted for the classic Pac-Man and they should have added the Pac-Man World Pac-Man. You know, I mean, seriously. They should have added the Pac-Man World Pac-Man where... You know, it still looks like the classic Pac-Man, but, um, frickin', with frickin' CGI artwork, and, I mean, really, and, I mean, seriously, whatever happened to Miss Pac-Man, whatever happens mm, to Chomp Chomp, you know, Pac-Man's dog, whatever happened to Professor Pac-Man, I mean, whatever happened to Spooky? I mean, why can't he make a return? I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean, seriously, what the frick? And even though the Ghost Gang, mm, I, 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 I really like their Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures design better, designs better, to be honest. Because, I mean, they actually look different from each other. But I miss the days when they were the enemies. I mean, really. I mean, and they just... And they should keep the Pac-Man, the Ghostly Adventures um, TV series. But they just shouldn't make it main canon with the video game universe. The video game universe should just be different. Pac-Man, the Ghostly Adventures, the TV series... It, it's pretty good in my opinion. It, it's, it's, it, it's funny and 
Mm. And it has a pretty good story and a, ba a good backstory for Pac-Man. But, I mean, they shouldn't make it main canon. I mean, what the frick? And they should, and in the video games, they should make Pac-Man adult again. I mean, he shouldn't be a boy in the games. He's called Pac-Man. And... They should just make a Pac-Man World 4. That's what we want. We want a Pac-Man World 4 in the style Pac-Man World 2. Because Pac-Man World 2 is the best Pac-Man game of all time. And they should just make a Pac-Man World 4. And in the description, I included a link to a petition I started for Namco Bandai to make a Pac-Man World 4. And I want them to put lots of effort into it. I want them to bring back mm, mm, the characters of, pa of the Pac-Man World series. Bring back the characters of the classic Pac-Man games. And mm, such as, um, such as you know, Miss Pac-Man, Maze Madness, Pac-and-Pal, Pac-Land. Just characters from those games. And they just need, they just need to make a Pac-Man World 4. So please sign the petition included um, in, in the description below so that hopefully we can convince Namco Bandai to come to their senses and make a Pac-Man World 4 like everyone wants. Anyways, this is Sammy Classic Sonic Fan signing out. And I hope you guys mm, support this idea. I hope you guys mm, help me mm, um, convince Namco Ban Bandai. And I just hope that a Pac-Man World 4 is made. And I hope you all think so too. Anyways, this is Sammy Classic Sonic Fan signing out. Mm -hmm.